Welcome to Yes! New arrival. What price will you choose? New Canon Y Prime Lens. EF 35mm Mark II against the lens comes at a hefty price. Sigma, USD $1,800 versus USD $900. What price is more reasonable? What do you get for your money? Canon 35mm MK2 had a special treatment, flooring coatings are applied to repel dirt. It make the front element easier to clean. The optical design is based on 14 elements in 11 groups. The big news, that it's the first lens to boast Canon's newly developed BR, Blue Spectrum Refractive. Canon says BR lenses use a new optical technology in which special organic material helps combat chromatic aberration in photos, resulting in higher image quality. The organic layer sits between two glass lens elements and refracts more blue light. Historically one of the challenges of lens design, which helps to control color fringing. Canon new 35mm L-series lens. It's noticeably bigger and heavier 160 gram than the 17-year-old original edition. It replaces, has a completely new optical design and adds weather seals. Ring-type ultrasonic autophagus is both very fast and very quiet. Full frame compatible yes, the exceptional optical properties will make the most of the new 5DS's 50 megapixel sensor. 35mm MK2 with a 9 blade diaphragm enabling a well-rounded aperture. At least by the wider end of its f1.4 to f22. So, which one is better Canon or Sigma? Let's turn another way. The Star Wars movie. How about Darth Vader is not a red lightsaber? But the color of black. Or maybe yellow? I guess the effect must be very different. Let's take a look the whole design from EOS 6D to 35mm Mark II. The red ring on the L lens, the hoodie W77B, overall shape is very good and fast. Now take a picture, sharpness is extremely impressive across the whole frame, even when shooting at the widest f1.4 aperture. Better still, bokeh is smooth and creamy when using wide apertures. If you want to test the refractive blue light, you have to get very close to some foreground objects. You will find out 35mm MK2 get color fringing is superbly well controlled. Sharpness is fabulous, and contrast is well maintained at f1.4. Barrel distortion is remarkably low and hard to spot, even in architectural shots. Image quality is spectacular performer. Thanks for your watching. For the latest product information, please do not hesitate to subscribe to our channel.